Hello, welcome back. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program Science Edition. Um, just kind of a side note as I'm looking at my plans of what I'm going to do here. Uh, a side note, uh, after I ask people, I, I reminded them again that they can suggest names for Kerbals just a little bit before I began recording this. That actually may be a good move to go for that one next. I don't know. Yeah, before I started recording, I, I hit 500 names on the list. Uh, I estimate, I haven't kept an accurate count of exactly how many of those names have been used in the past, I don't know, what is it, like three separate series that we've been doing that. But... <laughs> Uh, there's, there's like, I think I'd estimate that we've only ever used like less than a hundred of them. So there's like several hundred Kerbal names that would just that are in the list that we're just never gonna get to. <laughs> I don't know. I really have to, really have to uh, fix that. How? Okay. What am I going to do with this? The big thing that we just unlocked, we just unlocked our mystery goo containment unit, so we can do additional experiments with this. Uh, here, here's what I want to do. Let's load. Let's load Curb Flight 3. As this was a fairly successful design. I want to have yeah, a fuse box. Go ahead and shut that off. I'm not interested in you at the moment. Now let's see if... Let's continue to work on this. Let's add another stage to this one. I want to see if we can get this thing like orbital or at least a more, more a serious suborbital careful with this as it's still we do not have any um, any struts so it's gonna be serious wobbling issues okay yeah this this thing says we still do not have enough Delta V to be looking at at a an orbit uh, thrust to weight ratio two burns for just a few seconds I suppose we could do something silly and we could start stacking uh, more of these around the outside. Say like three of them. Although we don't have any aerodynamic nose cones yet. Is that, okay, so that drops that. See, that barely, add, that barely adds anything. That gives us a punishingly high thrust to weight ratio, um, but with no real gain in delta V, not really. Oh, that may actually be less. What is that? No, yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, how wobbly is this monstrosity going to be? Check staging. There's that one. Then, then that one. Then that one. And, whoops, hang on. Hang on. And this one. Okay, so check that. Yeah, that decoupler, then that engine. Then that decoupler, then that engine, then that decoupler, mm -hmm. then the parachute. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try that. And we're also going to add, and here we go, Mr. Goo Containment Unit. Oh, did my engineer wake up? I'm still not certain if that's actually working. Here, let's do it. And... Yeah, drop it down to this size. I'm I'm not a big fan of hanging those things on the outside of the of the of the pod, the capsule itself. Oh, I guess this is keeping up. How about that, huh? I don't know. It's not going to work. We'll we'll see how far we can get. See if we get, um, you know, what kind of biomes and stuff we can fly over. This is going to be Curb Flight Four. Let's go. Do we want Bill to continue having all the fun? Uh, I think, and, and until Bill dies, I think, no, let's, uh, here, clear, and let's actually start moving down the list and get some of these other guys. This one's going to be Bob. Bob, uh, you get to test out this vehicle. Tell us if it works correctly. <laughs> Alright, save curb flight four. Bob, see how far this thing will go. I know it's not going to make orbit. I just want to see if we can get far enough. See how close we'll get to orbit, you know? And see if it's going to be too wobbly with this setup. I really, I do not want... I know that I could make a real monstrosity out of this rocket, you know, with, you know, like a dozen SRBs and you know, stack a whole bunch of sideways and start building this thing sideways. I... Uh, well, for one thing, I'm running FAR, which 
uh, realistic aerodynamics, that would be a bad idea. And the other thing, those things are just hideously ugly, and I don't like them. I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to. Okay, Bob. Here we go. ISS is on. Let's just see how, how far this thing will go. Launch angle over just slightly initially. Lock in place right about there. Kind of oscillating around some. But it is working. Yeah, just over 2 G's acceleration. Good. Come on, stay on that 90 degree line, Bob. Bob is unhappy about it. He is not enjoying this vehicle. And now we're going to slow back down as we've got a, a really not so great thrust to weight ratio happening. Uh, do we want to? Uh, no, I want to get. I want to see if we can get up high. Yeah, up, up, up high. See what kind of altitude we can get out of this thing before uh, exposing the goo containers. Yeah, and there's some acceleration happening. Now, let's not be angling over too far in that direction yet, guys. Let's keep it pointing right about here. All right, we'll bow to the inevitable. We'll start ink pitching over some, or I guess yawing over, unless I just roll. Yeah, let's roll. Make it easier to think about. Just because after launching all those shuttles, it this this way actually feels more conf uh, more comfortable to me. Put the 90 degree line up like that. Relative up. So your pitch back on it. Okay. The stage is just about done. Final stage. Let's go, Bob. We got we got good two G's of acceleration again. Oh, well, this, this tank's only going to last for a few seconds. I suppose I should have... Eh, let's, let's expose one right now. We'll get over the... Uh, Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Okay, good. We'll keep that data. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try... We'll get one uh, upper atmosphere, and then we'll get another sample from the splashdown. I believe that is my plan. Because pretty clearly... Oh, except not attaching it to my capsule. That was a problem. That was a design flaw. I'm going to have to keep the whole stack. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. Uh, okay. No, no, not EVA. That would be a mistake. I wonder, can you, can you EVA while in the upper atmosphere, we may try this if we get up up high enough. 45. There's not much ap atmosphere up at 45 kilometers. I don't know. I've never tried it. Is there enough atmosphere to 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 blow to blow uh, get get uh, Bill off of there? Our airspeed setting is EAS nine meters per second. That's you know it's a breeze. Um, do I want to try it? I think I want to try it. What happens? Will is it enough to blow him off? No, no, he stays there. Good. Let's get an EVA report from Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Starting to feel you should really get back into the ship. Let's keep that data. Good job. Good job, dude. Uh, board. Good. Okay. So yeah, we got we got some good science off of that one. Uh, we got goo from upper atmosphere, and we'll try all a uh, goo report also from the splashdown. Let's uh, to prevent uh, difficulties. Let's uh, let's reorder our staging here, just like that. That's all we need to do. Good. And yeah, the, the parachute it should be sufficient. Yeah, actually, point this thing backwards. Gonna re-enter engine first, huh? I uh, suppose I can close this now, right? Oh, no, I don't want to reset it. Review the data. What do we got? Yeah, we're keeping that. That's good. Keep that data. It's getting very cold. Right, right. Closing this is equal to resetting it and not having the data. I definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, review stored data. But this is what's stored. 
Yeah, this is what's stored in the... Oh, wait a second. We need a crew report. Uh, no, I don't want this one. A crew report from the upper atmosphere. I want a crew... Re yeah, we'll keep that one. I want a crew report from over the ocean, from over the water. So I bet you we have to get to a lower altitude for that to work. Yeah, we still got electricity. I can actually turn that SAS off. Whee! Except things start spinning around. <laughs> Get down once we drop down below, say like 10 kilometers or so, then we'll pop the chute. And our Mach number is increasing at this point, which could be, you know, could be kind of concerning. There's a Mach number decreasing again. Yeah, I think, yeah, let's not deploy the parachute at Mach 3. Let's really slow that thing down first. Matter of fact, let's try and point this. In different direction. Will it let me? Yeah, the torque isn't really doing enough. Okay, so we really want to slow down. There's G force is increasing, increasing above three G's, moving towards four G's. Uh, Mach number decreasing. I want to get this subsonic before popping that parachute. Is it going to get subsonic? Or there's like maximum drag. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we still got a couple of kilometers altitude to go. There is no real hurry. We'll, we'll get down to like two kilometers altitude. Then we'll do it. Here's a parachute. Bob, remember what Bill said about the G forces snapping around whenever this thing hits the. Low enough altitude for the, the parachute to inflate fully. Because that can be kind of exciting. Ooh, okay! I was con concerned because this is a much heavier load than we had in previous parachutes. But it, apparently it stayed intact and we're even de have a rate of descent less than uh, yeah 10 meters per second. So that'll work. Well, let's see, I was going to get a crew port now. Crew port while flying over Kerbin's water. Yes, I want this. Let's keep that data. Good. Um, if I did an EVA, now we'll say we already stored that one. No, we, we, I think we, we can only keep, if I want to get the, the, yeah, I can't transmit anything, so we're only doing one EVA report per launch. And we'll keep this one ready. I want to get into the water with it. And we suppose we could do also do, actually here, let's just observe the mystery goo right now, just to see what's happening with it. Uh, while flying at Kerbin, goo, goo jiggles and wobbles as it flies. I'm gonna discard. No, I really want this one to be. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do just take a sample in the water. That's the plan. Almost there. Bloom, sploosh. <laughs> Oh, the engine broke off. It's okay. We didn't need that thing anyway. All right. That's good. Oh, one, one side effect of doing this, it kind of floats kind of level. All right. Now we're going to observe the Mr. Goo. See what it has to say. The goo escapes into the water, but that is our scientific result. Okay. That's good. We're going to keep that one. Thank you very much. So we got an EV, EVA report. We got a crew report, and we got two samples. That That is... That is a 100% effective flight there, Bob, even though uh, it looks like orbit with this, our current setup may not really be doable. Let's recover that vessel. Good. What do we get out of it, science-wise? Uh, we earned just under seven science on that mission, so now we have 12. What was the next level that we're aiming for? It was like 20. Uh, we actually have two of these. This one's for would definitely make it a lot easier to get into orbit. And this one has the aerodynamic parts. Actually should and also radial decoupler. Hmm. Thirty points for that one. Thirty points for that one. Interesting. I should need to try and do anything with the pods. If I did something much more lightweight. I wonder if that'd be easy, except but it, it would it have a very limited charge and it can't transmit anything. And I should probably wait on those until after I unlock the 
uh, the, the, the procedural fairings. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're still going to work on doing this one next. Uh, let's let's kind of repeat the same flight that we just did. Uh, except we're going to aim in different directions and get diff different goo reports from different places. 